another episode on Proven Power Cycles. For those who don't know me, I'm Eric. We got Lewis and Daryl over here. And we got a brand new boost on the dyno. So for this particular video, we're gonna do something that we haven't done on the boosts yet, all right? I know we've already covered quite a few boosts um, with cam swaps and stuff like that. I get it. However, today we are gonna do something that um, I thought was interesting. I started looking at these uh, velocity stacks, the OEM velocity stacks, and I wanna modify them. So, more or less, here is the design. They're very, very tall. So we had a couple of sets left over from previous jobs that we've already done where we've done the uh, velocity stack swap and stuff like that with the BT Moto stacks, right? So I don't know. I got to thinking maybe we can offer something a little cheaper or maybe we can just see what happens. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling frisky today. So I said, why not? Why don't we test this? I'm gonna cut and modify these and see if we can come up with a good cheaper. Now, it may not work as good as the aftermarket velocity stacks go, but I figured maybe we could do something to, again, offer a cheap variable uh, versus a full-on aftermarket velocity stack kit. Um, and, it, and maybe it'll pull up some more power, and who knows, maybe it'll be the same power. I don't know, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, we do have a good candidate on the dyno, though. We have a full Voodoo system exhaust on this and a Sprint PLA air filter in there already. So um, at least that's what we were told. So we're gonna go through and baseline it real quickly. Now I kind of got it prepped. We got the um, tank cover off and everything. So all we gotta do is lift this up and there's our air box. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a baseline real quick and then I just wanna swap the uh, velocity stacks off and see if there's any, any gains to be made or not. I don't wanna spend a ton of time on this because I am kind of doing this just on the side. I'm not charging the customer for this. I just kind of wanna see real quick. So we are going to, um, we're gonna make our modifications and throw those in there. We're, kinda, we're gonna do like a back-to-back -back run, okay? Now if this works, we'll see an immediate change. I don't need to do all the tuning and compare tuning versus tune. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to do all that. I just wanna see what it's gonna do real quickly. Is, is this any kind of gain? Is there any potential here? Is it gonna be worth it? And then maybe what I'll do is I'll throw this in for free for this guy if there is gains. He did say he'd be interested in keeping these if it does work. But he said, let me know, I'm curious too. So we'll see, we're gonna use them as a guinea pig. So without further ado, let's baseline this bike and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, let's go. <laughs> Installing our uh, our modified stacks, and I'm we're really curious. This is a preliminary like mock-up. We came up with a few different ideas, but this one right now is just kind of like version one, if you will. So we modified them, and uh, and I'll show you guys here in a second. Uh, I, uh, let me go on the other side of Daryl here. <laughs> Mystery. So. Well, we modified the OEM ones. I'll just put it blatantly. We modified the OEM ones. Let's see how they respond. I really, I, I, I don't know. So, but we have a good three puller. Uh, we have a really solid, good three puller. Honestly, at this point, we just want to see what the difference is going to be. Basically, what we're going to do, we're just going to test this really quickly. We're going to see what this version one is. And we're going to throw the OEM stacks back in it. Uh, his OEM stacks, we're just going to toss those back in whenever we're done testing this. We just want to see and get some kind of dy dyno numbers. And who knows, maybe this is going to suck. I really don't know. So, uh, but that's why we're doing this. We're going to test it. This is a version one. We did uh, have a friend of ours reach out. He is going to donate us his Gen 3 for uh, a couple of months. He, we'll, we'll go over that in a different video, but we're going to do some more testing on his bike um, when we have a little bit more time and we're also gonna test some other theories that we have that should work, honestly, based on all the other testing that I've done on velocity stacks. It should work. But again, we need to come up with a design and get it either 3D printed or figure it out. So it's not gonna work with um, what we have right now in the shop. So, all right, everything's ready to go. Let's do another uh, three puller real quick and see what happens. By the way, there is no tune. This is still on the stock ECU stock air filter, okay? 
We do have a Sprint PO8 that we are going to put in the bike. We have not put it in yet. It's still on a stock air filter. We have not changed anything on the bike. The straps are the same. Everything is the same on the bike. All we have done is just modified these velocity stacks and that's it. So it's gonna be a straight up apples to apples test, okay? And we're literally minutes apart from our dyno runs as well. So we shouldn't really have a huge variation in temperature or, or uh, humidity or anything like that. So, all right, here we go. Daryl has been hard at work and he has created version 2.0 <laughs> of our velocity stack testing. And we're just curious to see how it performs. So more or less kind of what we did real quickly, we added, I'm gonna shoot it from afar. We added a little, um, I don't know, what are they called again? The um, trumpets? Yeah, like trumpets or uh, bell mouth. So anyway. So anyway, we, we, we had the idea to kind of mix it and actually put the trumpets back on. Well, we kind of finagled it and rigged it up to, to where it's where it's at now. I, I, I guess I'll show them again. I just wanted to kind of, it, all right. I want to show them a little bit. I don't want to give away our secrets, guys, but here, I'll just kind of show you real, quick, real briefly. Ah! So. <laughs> here's the OEM one. All right, so here's what the OEM one looks like, right? When it's really tall. When it's really, yeah, when they're in there. So it's got a lot of height on it. It sits probably an additional four or five inches above it. So again, this is, we hand made these. They were not built on a CNC. They're not 3D printed. We literally hand made them off of a set of OEM stacks that we were just like, screw it, let's, let's try it. Now, we are pairing this with a Voodoo system, okay? This bike has a full Voodoo system. I'm not saying it's gonna work on every system, although technically it should be working on other systems. We have another bike. I, I'm trying to figure out how to word this the right way for you guys without um, being incorrect, okay? I don't like saying the wrong things. I like to try to be as accurate as I can. We have a donor bike that is coming in. This one we're kind of rushing on. We just want to see results really quickly to kind of get some preliminary results. We have an actual donor bike that's coming in. His bike is completely set up differently. He's already been modified. He's already been tuned by another, um, well he has a mail-in flash for his. So he's already got work done. The other bike that's going to come in. We will go over all of that on another video, but for right now, we wanted to at least test this. We were kind of shocked by the results. So we wanted to get you guys something at least right now as we are going through this process. The kind of shit we do at this shop. And this was all on a whim, by the way, guys. This was not planned at all. This was kind of like me looking at the stacks going, you know what, I kind of want to try this. Let's try this. So here we are. So here we go. We already have some results. I threw a bench, uh, bench flash in this. I just made a little modification to it, but I did not upload that map yet. Um, I'm, we're just gonna run it again as is. And, and just, again, guys, this is just preliminary testing. I know we're still gonna get comments in there, but you didn't test it, but you didn't tune it, but you didn't, blah, 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 blah. We're just testing it. We're just seeing what the hell it does, okay? So the next bike that we get, we're actually gonna do a lot more thorough testing on it. This guy, he wants his bike back. He just wanted a tune. We're using it as the guinea pig right now and just as a test subject. So. Uh, but we do actually have a good guinea pig coming in, a good test bike coming in that we'll be able to test all these different things out on. So without further ado, let me do some more runs. I can't believe this is where we're at with it. 
All right. All right, guys. So I wanted this to be all like initial shoot. We just got the numbers, okay? So here, here's what we're sitting like right now. And I can't believe this, how well this is working. So this red curve up here, okay? This red curve, here, let me get it easier. Let me turn that. So this red curve right here is the Voodoo Exhaust, the Sprint P08, and the stock Velocity Stacks that we installed. Now, again, I, this is our bench flash right here, okay? We're not done tuning it. This is just like, as if you guys were to mail a series to you, this is what this red one would look like, okay? Not bad, it's actually pretty damn close all in all. This green one, we made zero changes to the tune. And obviously the AFR is a little bit worse. We need to critique this AFR a little bit better before we uh, really continue to make more power. But look all in all at this power band. It is making damn good power. I mean, 157 to 172, that's 10, 15. We're talking about 15 horsepower gains with this podunk ass setup that we threw together today it took us probably two hours to make this and you're talking about gains of 15 wheel horsepower that's massive we did lose some down low and that's the sacrifice that you have to give up whenever you're comparing those tall stacks to the shorter stacks so all in all though we lost about five horsepower in this mid range that we could get a little bit more out of if we uh, critique the tune you know, if we fix this tune, we can actually pull this power band up a little bit. And you're talking about gains almost throughout the entire power band. So, again, considering that we just threw this shit together, I'm highly impressed right now at the results. So, we're going to keep working on this. We got another bike that we're actually going to bring in and we're going to compare our stacks compared to B-Team Moto stacks, uh, compared to stock stacks. We'll overlay all of those. Um, and then he's also got a tune by somebody else, but we'll end up redoing the tune so that way we'll retune it every single time. And that way we can do a, a really fair comparison between each stack uh, with this bike. Cause this is gonna be a big issue with the boosters going forward. And it's gonna be a cheap mod that you guys can do that we can offer you guys. That'll be a much cheaper option than a lot of the other stacks out there. So be on the lookout. We'll give you guys more info on all this jazz, but so far this is where we're at. We're gonna throw the stock stacks back in here. We're gonna finish the tune and uh, and go from there. But be on the lookout for that other video, okay? We're gonna produce that other video where we're gonna be much more in depth and we're gonna go on a much deeper level than what we're showing you already, okay? Damn good results so far. Couldn't be happier. All right, guys, I wanna say thank you for watching this video. Again, be on the lookout for that other video. It's gonna be awesome. If you guys have any inquiries, uh, hit us up on our website at www.provenpowercycles.com or you can call the shop at 727-256-0001. Uh, give us your inquiries. If you've got a Gen 3 Busa, let us know. We're coming out with a lot of stuff for this bike, so please let us know. Hit that subscribe button. Please like, comment, leave us your comment down below. Tell us what you think about this. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about this. I'm very impressed with the results so far. We're gonna keep modifying these things. We're gonna keep making them better. So leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching the video. We'll see you on another episode.